little... Yeah, right up in my grill. <laughs> you didn't make the bed. I never have, ever. I'm not a make the bed kind of person. <laughs> like, I, Am I getting the sheets out the dryer? Make the bed. <laughs> Any other day? Never. What are we doing today? We are... We're going to go to Whole Foods. Yeah. Eat some food. Yes. Foods. See, now we have to kind of, like, let's see. Okay, it's 9.51. They're probably, by the time we get there, going to be, like, transitioning to from breakfast to lunch. What do we want? But maybe if we time it perfectly, we can get a little bit of both. Yeah. Meh. Oh, I could go for some of the morning tater tots. Let me tell you about the morning tater tots. Morning tot. tater tots. Um, morning tater yeah. tot. And then we're going to buy some stuff at Whole Foods, pay way too much for it. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I never showed the, um, I got those in Vegas, the little wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. That was the only thing I actually bought. Anyway. <laughs> We're going. I'm going to spend too much money? Yes. Yeah. Check. Check. Do you have your Lululemon? No. <laughs> They're not going to let you in. Hi you guys, it's Saturday morning. We suck at vlogging this week, that's what happened. Actually, I feel like we took to Instagram a little bit more this week. Again, be sure you're following me there. We actually went to the water park that we have here locally, Wild Water's been around forever, uh, earlier this week when Nate was off, but I felt like I couldn't really vlog because it was like, you have to be careful with minors and like having their consent to be on, you know, YouTube and stuff right now, especially they've really like cracked down on it, which I think is actually great. Um, but I'm at a water park and it's like, I can't really film there without showing that, I guess. <laughs> and so we did do that Thursday though. And we were zapped, like we were so tired, but it was fun. And that little kid is a freaking daredevil, but I did post on Instagram a little bit. So you may have seen that. And yeah, other than that though, this week has just been kind of boring, kind of blah. Nate's making fun of me right now. He's at work right now, but in general, uh, I'm like Mercury's in retrograde. I'm in a funk. I'm back in a funk, guys. I haven't been in a funk in a while. I always tell you when I am, and I feel like it's been a long time. And he's like, what? And <laughs> I'm like, Google it, it's a real thing. And he's like, that is crazy. And I don't know, some of you guys have said it's actually real too, to you, that like your mood just kind of gets a little off and it's usually like the whole Murphy's Law too, like anything bad that's gonna like could happen happens, it kind of goes hand in hand. Nothing's happened, I'm just in a weird mood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like that I have to redeem myself, but I also feel like I kind of want to just like play in the kitchen today. I've been bored, you guys, like bored with food. I, not, not the oatmeal, that's different, but I do. I feel like I've kind of hit a place where I'm getting bored of food, of like what I've been eating and stuff and just wanting to like change something up and get a little more creative again. It's like when we first went vegan, I feel like I really did like, I just went for it and tried all these different things. I have all my recipes on my website and I haven't added a recipe in forever. Excuse me, I really haven't. And like, I don't necessarily have something in mind, but we're just gonna play. We're gonna pull out what I have and see what we can create. And then it'll be sort of a meal prep too for like the next coming days. Nate's not off for a while. Like he's, he, I think he works for the next like four or five days. Um, so he can take whatever I create too. I don't know, <laughs> but I thought you guys could do that with me and that would be fun. I'm gonna probably do it a little bit later. I'm gonna do like some dishes and laundry is kind of loud um, with all that going on. And the kid is gonna go to my parents later. So maybe once he's He's gone to turn on some lifetime we'll do the thing but I also thought that I would show you I think we got it pretty much complete we mentioned this last time um this armoire here is that what you call it oh I have some products to share with you guys too and a giveaway so stay tuned for sure um I think we got it pretty much uh finished and I want to show it to you guys okay real quick though yes I'm gonna have this stuff linked below but I am gonna do a giveaway but I'm gonna do it through my Instagram too but I will show you this later we'll pull it all out but how cool is that name Nutrilicious by Gloriously Vegan how cool is that it's a huge bag you guys of nutritional yeast haven't tried it yet but I'm excited and then I also 
also got uh, from the uh, Crazy Go Nuts. It's from a local, well, sort of local, Fowler, which is like 30 minutes, if that, from where we live. Um, it has their own like nut butters and snacks and all that stuff. I'm gonna show that to you guys. And what I'm gonna do a half like giveaway with this too, cause it's too good not to share. I'll have it all worked out later, but stay tuned. That's why it's in the little cubby over there. But um, yeah, I think we got it all figured out. So I got this, like I call it a hutch. Nate calls it an armor. I don't know. Um, I got this a couple years ago uh, from a friend that was selling it uh, online. And I happened to catch it and I was like, I want this. I don't know why, but I want this. And we didn't really have anything in it at all that was like super fancy. Although that's not entirely true. Uh, these are my fancy ones. Hello, there's a mirror in the back. <laughs> um, those ones are my expensive ones. Other than that, though, I really had nothing in it you know that was actually our wedding glasses and we didn't have alcohol at our wedding because we were not of age <laughs> so that's apple cider but that was from our wedding but yeah i kind of just kept stuff like that in it uh these are just some vases no really significance to them this here i'll open this in a second but this over here was like a centerpiece we had from our wedding and then just like some shot glasses and stuff that we've accumulated. But really there was nothing to it. But since Nate got his job, we have been figuring it out and adding to it. So let me turn on the light and this has a light too. It might help a little bit. Kids getting ready for uh, going to the parents later, you know, swimming stuff. <laughs> anyway, let me open it. Um, it's two sections. This actually turned into when we were doing some homeschool uh, about a year ago. This like whole bottom area was like his homeschool stuff and we would just pull it out to the kitchen table. It actually worked out really well. And in fact, there's still a lot of like kids stuff in there. If you do have something like this though, guys, uh, put a candle in it. I have had a Bath and Body Works candle in this since I got it. And every time I open it, it smells so good. <laughs> anyway, we finally added, I think we have everything. I think the only thing we're technically missing is like technically margarita glasses. I I think, I think, well, there's probably more, but we got the, the most like used. We got the white wines, the red wines. This is white wine too, I believe, but the stemless ones. And then we just got these, hello, these martini glasses. And these are the ones I was telling you they are my like fancy ones. These are actually from Tiffany's. They actually came in like an eight, a set of eight. Um, I think one's being washed right now and one's upstairs, but uh, we've actually broken a couple, which, oh, <laughs> and it also came with a pitcher that has uh, no longer with us as well. And then champagne flutes too. But yeah, my grandpa got me these like years and years ago and I love them. They're, they're awesome. They're so pretty. Uh, so those are, those are fancy, but the rest is actually now from Total Wine. I can actually link these below if you want, just if you want to check them out too. They do like online shipping too, but, um, I really, really like them. We first got these from a certain brand that they carried there. And as much as they, they're maybe they weren't cheap, to be honest, these were like, we got two and I think it was like 50 bucks. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> and but they're so lightweight and a lot of people really like that like there is like nothing to them and me personally I don't love that I like kind of heavier ones actually so we kind of switched brands after that and went with this different one that I cannot remember the name but again I'll link it below and we are loving these they just have a little more weight to them but they're still like super nice and classy and I, I think they're cool so got those I, oh I meant to turn on the light so this is kind of cool too is you literally just tap this it's just like a touch sensor it's really weird um, and that turns it on uh, in here. It's kind of cool. So Nate gets a lot of wine. That is a thing. So every like month he gets a ton of wine to taste out, like to test and everything. And yeah, so that's, he's been restocked and it's basically a bunch of Zins, um, 
bunch of Cabernet and uh, Chardonnays this time it seems like. And then I have a couple of these glasses too. This, this came in an actual like subscription box I showed you not too long ago, that Bombay and Cedar one, which I think I'm getting another one. I'll share that with you when it comes. Got a beer mug here and then some of our hard liquors. There's some in the freezer too, but guys, it's so funny when I pulled these down from the like pantry. I've had some of these for like 10 years. I'm not even kidding. So, Oh, and he got a martini shaker too. So I think we got it all like filled up. I think so. And then we mentioned to you guys, oh, and up here, I put like some of the corks that we've like had from the bottles. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. And then I was thinking it'd be cool to like save either like some shot glasses or a wine glass or something from different places we like go to over time. I think a lot of people do that. Anyway, that's what that's looking like. Uh, last week, I think I showed you, we did get a cheese board. I wanted a cheese board. Uh, he got a decanter too, and there's the board. Um, and then there's another board like over there too. It's like a littler one. I will totally share that with you guys next week. I promise. I'll put a couple pictures here though of ones that I have made already. It's so fun. They're all vegan. It's super fun. We've been totally enjoying that. Um, that's been nice to like change up like what we've been eating a little bit too. Like when he comes home at night, we just have a little snack with that. It's awesome. But, um, I, I'm so low on stuff that like, I really don't have like, I can't really make anything right now, <laughs> but I promise next week I'll show you. But yeah, I think that is everything. I think I like it. I like where it's, where it's going. And then we have these like side cabinet things too that were from Ikea um, that we can like add to as it gets even more full because it's full. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, that's what's going on. But yeah, I will check in with you guys soon today. And we'll see what we can create. <laughs> so I guess you could say things are looking up. I have changed out of my own PJs into Nate's PJs. It's good. I actually just texted my mom and I asked her for her peanut butter cookie recipe. By the way, I'm sorry if you can kind of hear this like fan in the background because the AC is on and it is probably going to be on for most of this because it's so hot today, guys. I mean, we're going to save this for like weeks, months to come, but it is. It's very, very warm. So I apologize, but hopefully it's not too bad. But yeah, I texted her for her peanut butter cookie recipe because they are bomb. They're so good. But so I got it and I kind of like just scratch paper, wrote it out, right? We're going to kind of use that as our guideline but we're gonna make something a little different and I hope it turns out well. She said that this was from my grandma, which has made different variations and it's it usually come out pretty good too. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. But I got inspired and let me show you why. So here, real quick, I'm gonna post this the same day. It's gonna be on my Instagram as the latest shot uh, on there and that's where you will enter this giveaway. So again, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but I got some of this Crazy Go Nuts Walnut Nut butter oatmeal cookie like flavored oh my goodness oh my goodness so I'm gonna give you guys this one but I have another one that uh, I'm going to use for this recipe and I'm gonna substitute it uh, for peanut butter and I think it's gonna be really really good but anyway this oatmeal cookie one I'm gonna give a do a giveaway for one of you guys plus they do some snacks and again I mentioned they're from Fowler which is super cool because it literally is like 20 minutes away from us and uh, the little girl was super sweet. She's like, we're local and I've seen your videos. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. So, and then, you know, I just like to support local and stuff, but they have an entire website and they are in stores in many, many areas too. So I'm gonna link them below, check them out. This stuff looks good. So this uh, banana walnut like flavored superfood snack also, I'm gonna put that together for you guys. And then there's also, should have moved these first. These uh, three little snack packs here. There's a buffalo flavored one, orange and coconut. So I'm gonna do all of this as a giveaway for you guys. Um, again, it'll be on my Instagram. You'll just follow them. Make sure you're following me there and leave a comment on that of what your favorite thing to do is with like a nut butter. And have you tried a walnut one? Funny enough, I don't feel like I've tried a walnut butter. We do so many different types of nut butters. And I think I've done like a blend where walnuts have been in it, but not strictly walnut. Anyway, go head over to my Instagram. All details will be there for that. But guys, so that was the oatmeal cookie one, right? 
So what I'm going to keep for myself is, you guys know, chocolate espresso. It has my name on it. So uh, this walnut butter. And again, instead of doing peanut butter cookies, like just traditional, I'm going to do these. This espresso walnut butter ones. Does that sound good? I think it does. <laughs> and I thought this would be like a creative way to use this too. And we're going to see what happens. But here's the thing too. I have some other variations. I wrote it down for what she does and I'm going to, let's just do this. Let's go through it and see what like I have to substitute. Is it going to work or not? Now I also real quick going to start with these. This is not for the recipe though, but I have three sweet potatoes. Uh, let me grab a knife real quick. And I last week made these, uh, made a couple of them in the air fryer. And I did it where I just wrapped it in foil and just stabbed it a bunch of times, put it in the air fryer for like 40 minutes at like 400 degrees in that thing. And it worked perfectly. It was a huge sweet potato I had though. These are a bit smaller. They're still pretty big though, but I wanted to do that instead if you heard that, um, is my oven though now because I don't love using the oven in the summer because it's hot and you know, so you try to avoid it. So letting, letting you know that the air fryer does work as well. But since I'm gonna make cookies, I'm gonna have the oven on. I'm gonna just throw these in there to cook up while we make the dough. And uh, we'll have those for the next few days as well. Just stab it, it's really good. <laughs> good aggression, you know, just get it out. <laughs> And I like to, like I said, wrap them in foil because sweet potatoes tend to get a little bit gooey when they cook, which is the best part, but uh, might be a little messy if you don't do that. So yeah, I just individually wrap them. Now in the, the winter, I love doing this. It one, it like heats up your house. And it's just such a quick way to prep. Nate loves these. I've been really into um, sweet potato on my salads. That's been a thing recently. And I'm not wearing a bra. And I, I thought about it. I was like, God, I should put one on. But then I'm like, you're my people. You get me. It's Saturday. I'm home. We're in the kitchen. No bra allowed. I'm gonna put these in there probably for like an hour or so. We'll see. Hot. Okay, so for this recipe, you have to do it kind of in two separate parts. Believe it or not, I used to bake quite a bit. It's not really my jam. Like I prefer cooking over baking, but sometimes it's fun to change it up. But you're gonna want to, and I try to pick out a glass bowl so you guys can see it pretty well. Uh, you're gonna have like your wet ingredients if you've never really baked before, and your dry ingredients. And you wanna combine those at the end, but you wanna work with just the wet first or just the dry first. Uh, keep it kind of separated. So first thing is one cup of butter. Now I'm going to use coconut oil instead because I assume that I asked my mom, is that okay? She's like, it probably will be okay, but we'll see. You know, it's kind of the same consistency as butter when it's, you know, firmer, right? And then it melts just like you can melt butter. Coconut oil melts down too. It's actually a little bit melted actually right now. So I, I think that's going to be okay. We're going to find out. <laughs> All right, so one cup, it's kind of a lot. So this is gonna be our wet ingredients. And again, this is just plain old coconut oil got at uh, Whole Foods last week. One cup seems like so much, but it's cookies. It's cookies, it's fine. Then you're gonna do one cup of peanut butter. I'm gonna do this instead. This is gonna smell so good, I just know it. Um, all their stuff too, vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, using my teeth. You know what guys, I feel like this is going to be like a cup. Let's just see, it's a little bit, again, it's hot here. So it's kind of melted down. Oh my God, that smells so good. Yeah, it's a little thicker as you go, but it's kind of like good temperature. The air just turned off, so it might, it'll come back on, but uh, it might be a little quieter. You know, I think this is like a cup. I think this is gonna be perfect. Okay, see, this is why 
<laughs> I'm not the best baker because I'm not super precise. I prefer not to be like when I'm cooking. And with baking, you have to be, or you should be. I'm gonna defy all odds here, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you're not making stuff like in advance or whatever, you would preheat your oven to 375. I mean, like you have to try it, right? <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Oh my gosh. Look, we're family here. Oh my God. That's the one this one looks like. If you guys want to shop it too. Oh, I have high hopes. This is good. This is good news. Okay. So then a cup of sugar. So I am going to use real sugar for this. You, I have some coconut sugar out, but I am actually like out of real flour. I realized that. I have like some of the whole wheat flour. I have some buckwheat flour. I could grind down some oats and make like an oat flour, which is going to be the majority of this, right? And since I don't have the real thing there, I'm going to do the real thing here <laughs> for the sugar part. But I say, you know, if you want to use a substitute, go for it. You know, normally, I, seriously, I have, I'm kind of breaking up the chunks in here because I haven't touched this in so long because <laughs> I normally stay away from it. But, you know, not today. So there's that. I'm kind of a mess. Usually people have scoopers and all that BS and... Here I am, <laughs> living my best life. Okay, put that in there. And then, cup of brown sugar, which I think I just have too. Were you the kid that like used to eat brown sugar? Just like straight? Or anyone else? God, that's good. Fun fact, if you did not know, brown sugar is literally white sugar with uh, molasses in it. I thought it was like fancier for the longest time. It's not. <laughs> now I think you're supposed to technically like pack this down. I ain't got time. <laughs> My mom is cringing right now. <laughs> She's a really good baker. That's her thing. Okay, next is two eggs. But because we don't do the eggs, we're gonna do this uh, Bob's Red Mill egg replacer in like two eggs worth. So this you just take, I believe it's like a tablespoon, one tablespoon of egg replacer, two tablespoons of water is like what you're making here. So I've been really happy with this, with like when I need that substitution, cause I use that a lot for my protein pancakes and they come out really, really good. So um, yeah, I'm gonna add some water to this. Okay, putting the egg mixture in there. Then what's important on this particular type of recipe, I suppose, is uh, you, you want to like really make sure that this is blended well and more so than you can probably do by hand. If you absolutely have to do it by hand, do it by hand because if you don't have like a blender or something, do that. Um, but this is where this is going to make probably the most difference in like the final product, the final result. So I'm going to use just the hand mixer I have here. It's by Dash. I think my parents won it for me at like some kind of little raffle thing. I use it often for the the protein pancakes as well because that batter gets so freaking heavy and like thick and it actually works perfect for that and it's so simple and like not fancy and I love it <laughs> and we're gonna like blend this till it's super creamy like a frosting uh, for about probably like five minutes even we'll see as it comes together and see how long it really takes but don't be afraid to like take some time for this step um, I think it's actually going to make a difference. So, let's do it. Okay, I don't know if it's like the coconut oil, but it's kind of like, it's all combined, but it's almost like getting watery and separating a bit. And I don't think that's really supposed to be what it is, but I'm gonna go out on a whim and say it's okay, but it's just because of that substitution maybe. Obviously this is just the wet mixture. Now we're gonna make the dry and then we're gonna put them together. Um, so maybe too, if it's still looking really like 
when we combine them like really runny, then I can always add a little extra flour. So I'm gonna set that aside. I have this, I got this, gosh, from Pampered Chef and it came in like a set of these measuring cups. I've got this 15 years ago and I love it because it has it like in, the, it's hard to see probably from your angle, but it has all the measurements going up. So I just leave it like this and you can just use it as like your mixing bowl too. I love it. Um, I kinda like this one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole wheat flour because I think that's the closest to like all purpose. I don't know. <laughs> so three-ish cups of flour. This actually is true. Because again, baking so precise, but depending on, you know, the temperature, which is a real thing with baking, uh, uh, you might actually need to put a little more or a little less. It's a real thing. And that's why I'm not all into that sciencey part. <laughs> oh, you know what else too? I needed to put actually some vanilla in here. I totally forgot. See, again, not good at this whole gig. So throw in some vanilla extract, teaspoon, tablespoon, cup, I don't care, whatever. One and a half teaspoons of baking soda. I was a big Pampered Chef person, like really big into it. In fact, uh, my bridal shower back in 2005 <laughs> was a Pampered Sh uh, Bride, I think they called it. Like it was a Pampered Chef party essentially, but for like I got to put things on like my registry of like what I wanted from Pampered Chef. It was kind of cool. Uh, and I still have a lot of the stuff. I love it. Now, is it still around though? Like, I, it's one of those things where I feel like it's almost a bad company because their stuff is so good that I've never repurchased because <laughs> I haven't needed to. So it's almost like, you know, yeah, you want new customers, new customers, but you don't really get a returning one, <laughs> right? Anyway, uh, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. And this is like a two, uh, up to two or one tablespoon and you just slide this to what you need. It's cool. And then a half a teaspoon of salt, which we eyeball. And this, you don't have to like blend or anything. I think you're technically supposed to sift it. But again, we don't have time. <laughs> do what you will. What you wanna do is you wanna put this into your wet ingredients, but you don't wanna over mix it at this point. That's where it gets a little bit like, I guess it matters again. That's why you do these two things separately instead of putting it all into one bowl to begin. Have I really tested this? Maybe, maybe I have technically of like doing that and what can happen is things like come out more like a bread consistency versus a cookie. And it's not to say that it tastes bad, but it's not what you're going for, you know? So anyway, we're gonna just go ahead now and put in a little bit, not even half really. And now we're just going to like combine it. Not, don't use the blender again or anything. We'll see what happens. I can tell you again, it smells great. <laughs> I think we're gonna be fine. Sorry, mom. <laughs> you know, then I know for hers, like I didn't even write it down, but I know what she does for her peanut butter cookies is like roll them in balls and then you roll it in sugar and then you press it down on the baking sheet with like a fork and it makes it kind of like that crisscross pattern. I guess we could do that too. <sighs> Another step. We'll see. Um, I think we do need to let this chill a bit too, um, ideally. So what I'll do is I'll put this into the freezer, even though you should probably do it into the fridge, but whatever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be good. I think it's fine, it's fine. Uh, and then we'll come back to it and power of editing though, right? You don't have to wait, so. We'll see how this all comes together. But yeah, I think you do want to let this chill, then roll them. I guess it doesn't matter if you, which one you do first on that, but I'm gonna say chill this first and then uh, roll them, bake them. And yeah, I bake them at 375 for 10 to 12 minutes. That is it. Let me get like a spatula. And did you eat the dough? See now, see, this is sugar, or not sugar-free, but egg-free. So you can eat the dough. 
But did you eat the dough as a kid, even with the egg? I did. Who didn't? Come on. I don't feel like it needs more. Like, I feel like it's okay. Like, it, it's not runny at all anymore, so it's a good sign. While I'm letting this cool a little bit and stuff, though, or chill in the fridge, like, we'll do some, uh, marinate some tofu for the week, too, or for the next couple days. Lately, I got a question on Instagram, like, last weekend when I posted, like, ask me questions and stuff, and one of you wanted to know, like, my, my, um, current, like, food prep schedule. That was a great question, and lately, I really haven't been doing it. I just kind of, like, when we make dinner for the night, I do, like, two to three batches of what we actually need, and then I just, that's leftovers for the next day or whatever. Typically, for Nate to just take to work. And uh, yeah, this is good, we are good. <laughs> so let me just kind of show you. It can totally make a ball, that's key. This is good. Okay, let's try it. Mm-hmm, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, we did it guys, we did it. <laughs> but yeah, I just kind of like make stuff for dinner and then just double batch it or whatever. And that just has kind of been working. And it's been kind of nice because you don't like, I like meal prepping. I think it's really, really smart. Um, so I encourage you to do it, but I do get that it can get kind of boring. Like you eat the same thing on day four and it's just not as fresh at that point, you know? So it's kind of a way to like, just keep things a little more like fresh, have a nice, good, fresh dinner and have that as your leftover for lunch the next day. And then you get to start over again with a nice fresh dinner and just one leftover. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, we just kind of have been doing that lately and it's been working for us, but yeah. So then, okay, again, I'm gonna do the tofu, but I wanted to show you guys this again too. It's a newer company, which I just love to like support, especially when it's like a vegan one. It's pretty cool. It's called again, Gloriously Vegan Nutritional Yeast and it's Nutri-licious. Nate saw it over there in the corner and he's like, what is that? But don't touch it. <laughs> Cause I hadn't shown you guys yet. And he's like, what is that name? And I was like, the name is perfect. <laughs> he's like, it kind of is. And it is a big bag here. It's one pound and it is now being sold online. It's kind of new. So I just thought I would like let you guys know. We'll definitely use this um, in recipes to come for sure. If you are not familiar with nutritional yeast, let me get the tofu and we'll talk about it. Ooh, we're gonna try this Thai peanut sauce too that I got from Thrive. Nutritional yeast is awesome. When I first went vegan and everyone talked about how you should have it because it's really good for you, I was like, okay, I gotta go get it, right? Well, quickly I realized I did not love it like raw or like, you know, not cooked in something. It's definitely different, but it's trying to be a substitute for like a cheese. Now, it's kind of just a flaky consistency and you just sprinkle it on top of stuff or you can kind of make it into sauces and that's what I would highly recommend you do is like make it into a sauce. I have this um, like nacho cheesy mustard sauce recipe on my website. It's bomb guys, it's so good. And I would say start there if you're newer to it because it can be a little bit weird of a flavor like right on its own. But I remember that was the case for me and but then I it turned into where like I can eat that with a spoon like I love it now uh, so I think you can get there with it too if you're not like the biggest fan at first I have some organic tofu firm ready to eat and I'm just going to drain it and cut it in half this technically a brick of tofu is always like five servings give or take and we always do pretty much just half so we usually have like two and a half servings at a time but I mean that's still like 200 calories or less it's not like that much I guess just taking my paper towel and getting like the excess off of it I don't even have like a tofu press I don't even really do all that I will say it you know if you put it in these containers more moisture will come out of it if you don't do all that but we just air fry it majority of the time and it's fine. Even with it being kind of like still moisture in it and stuff, it's totally fine. It works for us. Okay, so I'm again I'm gonna do like half. And I usually just do these into cubes and put whatever you want. 
good. Now this kind of meal prep, if you will, this is this is pretty easy, you know? <laughs> They're not really doing much. But that's also, I think, a perk of eating plant-based in general. Like, I mean, you can totally get creative and cook all day long, but for the most part, I feel like it simplifies things in general when it comes to eating plants like there's not as much involved not as much like having to worry about too of like is it cooked all the way i don't miss that that's for sure <laughs> i'm gonna put some garlic powder on it which is just typically what i do and then i'm going to try this thai peanut sauce uh from sky valley we really have been liking these because they are low in sugar minus the cookies i just made you know it's all good see balance <laughs> and pretty good flavor on them we've done the teriyaki one so we're gonna see how this one is we haven't tried it yet oh 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 it smells good <laughs> smells very very good okay put some of that on there it's like one tablespoon yeah one tablespoon is 40 calories that's really not that bad I like to just do it in these containers too then you can kind of just shake them and then you're good to go and literally Nate will take this to work pop it in the air fryer there throw it on a salad throw it with some edamame pasta whatever else he has you know and he's good to go okay guys it's been like 45 minutes or so and I just checked the potatoes and they're almost done they're almost there so we're gonna like start putting these together and then when that's ready to go in I feel like there's a little cat hair because you know my house is a zoo so i just have a little bowl here of some sugar parchment paper on the baking sheet here just because it makes it so much easier for cleanup and let's get the dough you don't need to have this but i have one of these like scoopers here it's just gonna make it easier i think and just do like a couple inches if you're using like two spoons and you're just going to make a ball and then just put it into the sugar. You can just put it down. All right, so I'm gonna continue just doing this and I'll show you when they're all done. All right, so we're gonna put them in the oven. I'm not gonna actually really push them down with the fork after all, cause they just aren't really wanting to stay totally together. So let's see what happens with this first batch. Let's put them in 10 to 12 minutes or so, 375. So this is 10 minutes and halfway through, I actually like pushed them down a little bit and I think that will work. Now a couple just came apart, but I think this is, these are gonna be good. I'm gonna let them go just like a minute or two more. These may not be lookers, but let me tell you something. These are delicious. I ate half of that one. These are good. Now, okay, what I'm gonna say, cause I just put it in another batch. And since this has been sitting out in that time, they were easier to put together. So I'm gonna say for this recipe, don't chill them. It made them fall apart too much. But yeah, I was able to push them down once they had like kind of started baking. You guys, these are good. I Okay, I'm having a hard time like describing it though. Like it's kind of like it's sort of crunchy on the outside. Oh my God. <laughs> but like chewy. They're not overly sweet, actually, which is kind of crazy because there is sugar. Oh my God. You get like a hint of coffee at the end. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Oh my God. Look, these are so good. They may not be super pretty. We're gonna see if we can get the next one to be a little prettier. I think it will be. Mmm, so good. Yep, I would say do it. But don't chill it. Don't chill the the dough. Holy crap. <laughs> anyway. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep making these and call it good. I hope you guys enjoyed just hanging out with me in the kitchen. I enjoyed hanging out with you. And we will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.